buds formed in different plants. Vegetative reproduction. Vegetative propagation is routinely done and is preferred by many plants. Some of the flowering plants propagate by specialized structures. This method of reproduction is asexual reproduction, where there is no involvement of male and female gametes. This method of propagation in plants is called vegetative propagation or vegetative reproduction. A large number of horticultural crops, such as guava, grapes, pomegranate, orange, and citrus, vegetative crops such as potato and sweet potato, and flowering plants like chrysanthemum are produced through vegetative propagation. Advantages of vegetative propagation. Vegetative propagation helps to maintain fixed qualities of the parent plant. Vegetative reproduction offers a uniform root stock for budding or grafting. This root stock can be selected from a plant that is immune to diseases. Different types of buds in plants. Stems usually grow above the soil and produce buds, leaves, flowers, and fruits. The place where a leaf rises on the stem is the node, and the portion between the two nodes is called an internode. The stem ends in a bud known as the terminal or apical bud. Buds are also present in the axle of leaves, known as axillary buds. Buds which contribute for growth are called vegetative buds, and those that give rise to flowers are known as flower buds. Buds can also arise on the roots or leaves. Nodes. Grass plants have a weak stem. The internodes are long and the nodal portions will have roots and axillary buds. When they are cut at internodes, these buds develop into independent new plants. Eyes of potato. Potato tuber is a modified stem. The shape of these structures is similar to an eye. These are called the eyes of the potato. These eyes are cut from the tuber and germinated in the soil. Leaf buds. In birophyllum, buds are situated in the depression of leaf margins. The usual position of buds is either at the terminal part of the shoot or in the axle of a leaf. These buds in birophyllum are known as apophyllus, root buds. In curry leaf plant and neem, these young plants develop from the buds present on the root. They develop into independent plants.